Okay, like a steady drop drip of people. Thinks that I'm being too hard on Cashfly. And I, and I like Cashfly, but the thing is, I want to break through this shell, this glib shell. And here's for example, he's talking with somebody in this, this video I'm replying to of my own. Unhappy test tube baby. And a lovely time in Cashfly talking about, you know, whether the 12 step kind of programs, you know, whether they're good or not. I have something to say on this. Now, in the middle of a, of, of a serious conversation on this, he's unhappy test you, baby. That makes sense, but I still get the feeling that the experience isn't fully sincere. I wonder what, if what they're really doing is casting themselves in a role they're expected to play on some contrived stage. The details of the characters may change, but the production remains largely the same. I don't claim to always hold myself to size standards, but how many shortcuts can you take before your mentality can no longer positively affect your reality? And Cashify's answer is this. Damn straight! We should make a law against AA and NA and let those junkies figure it out on their own. What doesn't kill you make you and your family stronger, right, brother? Who's with me? See that glib fucking bullshit? That's why I want to call bullshit on you, Cashify. Fuck that bullshit. He's fucking talking to you about something serious, or I'll tell you what, okay? My grandmother had a stroke. You know, she's passed away a long time ago, not from the stroke. But she had a stroke, and she was a drinker, and she had to stop drinking. And she went to a program at Stanford. It wasn't uh, AA, but it was a similar kind of 12-step program. And she did stop drinking. And eventually she was able to have, you know, like one cocktail a day. But she was able to overcome her drinking, you know, and she was a very steady drinker. But what they did in this program, she rejected. She did not accept the program's rules because they told her to look bad at her alcoholic self. At all the time she'd been wasted with alcohol and had a good time. You know, and her husband was a surgeon, and when he was off call and they went on a vacation, they'd take crazy-ass vacations and they'd drink themselves silly. You know, it was functional alcoholism, really no two ways about it. But her husband was dead at the time, and she was like, I am not going to fucking tell myself that I was a worthless person having no fun and faking myself out. No, I just had a stroke. I got to stop drinking for my health. I don't got to think I was a bad person or that wasn't really me or reform and transform and take myself. I'm just at a stage now, this is her, you know where I can't drink as much or at all for a while. So, yeah, so there's truth in that these programs and they try to get you to, to reform yourself. And for a good reason, a lot of these people are fucking their lives up. <coughs> but not everybody needs to do that. Some people can say, Oh yeah, fuck my life up. I gotta stop. Or some people could say, I didn't fuck my life up, but now my health is 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 a, an issue, and I am gonna fuck it up if I don't stop. You know, some people can just use rationality like that, and that's what unhappy test tube baby is talking about here. And Cashify, we should make blah 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 blah. That glib bullshit is why no, I am not taking it easy on you, Cashify. You're gonna tell us about your 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 you make belief through reality and blah 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 blah. And these lib answers. This is annoying. We should sarcasm, sarcasm, sarcasm. And what, you smile and play some, you know, meditative music, and so that means you're a mellow guy, so no, I shouldn't call you on this bullshit, this glib kind of bullshit, this sarcastic, shit-eating grin kind of bullshit. Cat that ate the dog grin, I'm sick of it. I'm not sick of you. I'm sick of these little things. You get, you get stuck and you don't have an argument. You're just like, well, but I believe it, so it's true. And so here I'll just say a sarcastic thing that's rude. Unhappy Test Tube Baby was making an interesting, an interesting statement. And you trivialize it into, we should make a law against AA and NA. He never said that. Unhappy Test Tube Baby said nothing like that whatsoever. And it's right on the topic of my thing, because as I said, with these people going to religion, believing in God instead of introspecting, it's the same goddamn thing. Or going to the, 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 a lot of these human potential self-help things. It's some shortcut. Maybe because you can't face the long road. Maybe because you don't have the stamina for the long road. Okay, NA helps people sometimes. I have a friend who's in NA. It helped her. That doesn't mean we can't analyze it. Nobody said make a law against it. You know, may, they, just because it works, well, that's because it's practical. It's got to get something done. These people got to stop. Who cares if it's, if it's right on a philosophical foundation in that case? But here, we goddamn care. I care if it's on a philosophical foundation. If there is a better way, if there is a better way, the, the way my grandmother stopped drinking, she went to the program, she used it 
as a time to introspect. There's no doubt that the program, incidentally, in that sense, helped her. But she did not follow along on its way of looking at yourself and criticizing yourself. She didn't need to do that. And the way she controlled her alcohol was much better for her self-esteem, for the integrity and continuity of her personality, for her, uh, preserving the memories of her husband and her partying and the fun that that was and still seeing that as fun. It was a much better way. Now, if she couldn't have done that, if looking at it that way would have kept her drinking, then yeah, she should have done the cheap, the cheap way that gets it done but isn't quite true. But we're talking about what's true here. Don't, don't use this glib stuff. You know, you want to say, don't do the ad homs. It's, oh, how is this different than an ad hom? Because you didn't call him a name? Yeah, you did. You implied that he wants to hurt people that need AA and NA and that it should be illegal. Who's with you? You know, I, I hate this glib stuff. I, I, it makes me, I don't think you deserve uh, holding off or nothing. You talk this kind of stuff all the time. You always get, you get cornered a little bit and then suddenly it's blah. Well, I'm going to call you on that crazy shit. You know, take responsibility for the fact that you have no fucking argument left. And you said something anyway. So now you have to be held to what you said. Anyhow, it was stupid and it's easy to jump on. Well, that's your fault. Don't say it. Don't say things so easy to jump on. Unhappy Tattoo Baby did not say anything about making a law against NA and NA, blah, 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 what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, blah, blah, blah.